2 is officially confirmed! My Hero Academia is going to be returning, which makes this episode all the more sweeter. This is a fantastic end to what is arguably the first important arc of My Hero Academia. The villains lost, the heroes have won, and All Might and Izuku Midoriya are gonna be just fine. So this episode could have gone south big time because All Might just exhausted all of his power after fighting the bioengineered Nomu and he has no more strength left and there's a steam which is constantly emanating from his body which is a signal showing that he's about to transform into his decrepit small state. And he's trying to act all tough, put his chest out and let the villains know, take one more step and I am just going to spank that ass. But these villains decide that they're going to try and fight him anyway, they get right up in his face, Izuku Midoriya plans to destroy them with a massive smash punch, destroying his legs in the process, when suddenly the heroes of UA High School return, one of them being a badass western gunslinger, shooting Tamara in the arms and legs multiple times, and the other heroes come in to kick all sorts of ass. My favorite one is this guy who wears this long flowing white jacket, he has a black skull face, and he can somehow vomit up clones of himself, which do what of course? Kick ass. Kuro, Giri, and Tomura are nearly sucked up by 13's powers, but they make a quick escape. And it looks like they will be returning in the future. What's most interesting is we learn that they're actually working for a different shadowy organization, which is basically just using the League of Villains. They have bigger plans, and I guess we'll just have to wait until Season 2 to see what those are going to be. The rest of the episode, however, is incredibly simple. Basically, just all of the heroes recovering, All Might, Izuku Midoriya recovering, being introduced to this guy who works for the detective agency, who's basically All Might's best cop friend. Everything that went down in this arc right here was a wake-up call for the students of UA High School. This is what it really means to be a hero. These are the villains that they run into on a daily basis, and they're going to have a lot more to learn if they want to get up to that level. And that is really what makes this first arc of the series so remarkably interesting, because you'd almost expect Izuku Midoriya to be the one to save the day. He is the default main character of the series. When he jumped in to attack Tomura, I was almost convinced that he was going to take him out with one big punch. But no, it was the other more experienced older heroes who ended up saving the day. And that's what made this episode so cool. They could have just turned Izuku Midoriya into the chosen one-like character, where he's the one who finishes off every major villain with some sort of MacGuffin device. No, Izuku still has a lot more to learn about what it means to truly be a hero. He's definitely got the heart, but he's got to build some firm muscle first, and he's got to learn to work with his other teammates, which are all incredibly awesome. This first arc right here, hell, this first season, was basically just a straight introduction to the world of My Hero Academia and its characters. And it's asking you, do you want to continue? You'll know if you liked this season or not. And frankly, I'm kind of hooked at this moment. I cannot wait to start learning more about My Hero Academia. And I'm not quite sure when the second season is going to be, but you can bet your ass over the course of the next couple weeks, I'm gonna have to start reading this manga. So what's the rundown on the final episode of the first season of My Hero Academia? I am so glad that there is going to be a second season. I was so afraid that they were going to try and find some way to sort of wrap up this entire series in this episode and basically turn it into another Tokyo Ghoul, which is to say it's an anime series which is just a preview for the manga version. No, they're going to keep doing this, and they're going to break up all of the major arcs into various seasons, as long as, of course, there's a lot of viewers who continue to watch the show. And I'd like to think that that's the case, because this show has a lot of room for development. There's so many unique characters with their own abilities and quirks. No pun intended. This is a quirky-ass show, and it's really fun to watch, and there's a lot of characters that you can get attached to. It's been compared to Naruto a lot, and you know what? I can truly understand that. It's basically superhero Naruto, but I like it for that, and I like all of the side characters and that they're utilized in a lot of interesting ways, and that it is sort of breaking conventions with some of the storytelling, like how Izuku wasn't the one to save the day. The other heroes had to come in and save all of them and let them know, you're not ready for the hardcore shit of this world quite yet, and that's why you're in school right now. But this was still an important lesson to learn, and it is going to be a big step in your development as a hero. 
As for what the future arcs are going to bring, well, the sky is kind of the limit here. Since I don't read the manga version, I have no idea what's going to go down, but what I do expect is a lot more development from the side characters and seeing more from the villains, especially the character of Tomura, who's a very creepy and awesome villain and looks like he's just made for a great cosplay. I'm also interested to see if Nomu is eventually going to return to the organization, because they do actually find him in this episode, he's all tied up, but he doesn't seem to be as evil or as, like, crazy as he was before. He's complying a bit too much, almost as if this is going according to plan. I'm also loving the continuing development between All Might and Izuku Midoriya, how one of them is becoming weaker as the other one is becoming stronger. They have a really interesting development and a really cool bond, which is really the glue that holds this entire series together. That scene where he like halfway transformed and you could see All Might on one half and the scrawnier side on the other, that was a really powerful moment, which didn't need a lot of dialogue to sort of like explain what it was trying to say. It was just something that I really loved about it. It was a great anime moment, if you you know what I mean. The silver lining of this week's episode is that My Hero Academia is not done. There's more to come, more stories, and more character development, and I can't wait to see it. So, this is just the beginning of something really incredible. Now, is the series perfect? Not exactly. There are definitely some animation shortcuts throughout this entire series. It's not the most amazing show that I've ever seen, but it's got enough creativity and amazing characters to get attached to so that I can recommend it to just about any action anime fan or people who like stuff like Shonen Jump series like Dragon Ball, Yu Yu Hakusho, One Piece, Naruto, stuff like that. If you're into those type of shows, check out My Hero Academia. You might see something you like, and it might get you to start reading the manga version, which, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting ready to go do that right now. So I'm going to give this episode right here a 4 out of 5. And that's basically what I would give the entire first season. A solid 4 out of 5. Lots of great energy and fantastic characters. Super colorful series. And there's a big fan favorite for everyone. And there's the promise of more to come. That's definitely a good thing. Check it out, My Hero Academia fans. You might see something you like. But if any of you did watch this episode right here, make sure to tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. What did you think of the entire first season in general? Who's your favorite character or favorite student from the UA high school? And what do you want to see from the second season of My Hero Academia? Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys again for watching. And as always, stay dandy, baby.